Howdy howdy and welcome to another wonderful YouTube video. We are trying to beat Night 6 at Five Nights at Fredwards 2. I know I didn't beat Night 6 on the uh, first game, but I really thought I'd give this one a shot. Um, I also want to say thank y'all very much. Um, I've been getting a lot of views, I've been getting a lot of comments, I've been getting a lot of subscribers. We finally hit 100 subscribers on the channel and I do appreciate that. I want to let y'all know, I didn't expect to get that far. I'm, I'm doing this for funsies and the fact that I even have one subscriber surprises me, yet alone 100. So, thank you all very much. I made a video about it. If you didn't watch it, don't worry. It was just me saying thank you. And then I'm saying thank you in this video, and I'm sure I will for the next week or so. I did want to try to get this video out sooner than I've been doing. I've been kind of busy with my life, personally. So, it's been taking me about a week or so to get videos out. But I do want to kind of pick up that schedule. And I do want to start Outlast. That was the game I wanted to play next, and I do plan on playing it. I just got to start playing it, you know? But I did want to try to finish the sixth night here. I feel like I got this. Fredward's murderized me plenty of times, and I'm, I'm, I might be dumb, but I can learn. By God, I can learn. My main issue is when I'm using the music box here, um, I get pulled out sometimes, and that stutters me, or that stalls me. Messes with my brain. Just say that much. Oh, murderous Bonnie. And when that happens, it does slow me down on whether or not I recover, and I have to just be used to, as soon as I see it drop, I'm automatically hitting my mask. Hide my ugly face. All right, am I, is this it? Yep. Oh, that might have been a loss. Come on, don't be not- I already lost. Come on! Oh, man. We're like a minute into the video! That's alright, it's alright, I gotta get used to it, that's it. This one starts off hard and heavy. And I can win it, I just gotta be prepared to put that mask on. Which doesn't seem like a hard thing to do. But, when you're a professional idiot like me, life is hard. In general. Yeah, yet again, I do appreciate all the subs. Um, my life's been a little bit busier. I've been doing a little bit more uh, in my personal life. Uh, I've been working out more, so a lot of gym, and I've been trying to eat healthy, and I've been cooking a lot more, too. So that does take up a little bit more time, and I have to decide where to shave off time, and so I haven't been able to do as much video editing either. Also, I'm still addicted to RuneScape, and that's like an addiction I can't seem to drop, so that's, that doesn't help my time management efforts at all. But... I think it's finally time I improve my life enough, and I'm not happy where I'm currently sitting, and so I'm gonna keep working until I feel like I'm happy with it. I don't I don't know why else I shouldn't. It's been my entire life being lazy, and I feel like I've wasted a good portion of it, so I'm gonna try to fix it. I don't know how well to go, but stick around. You might be able, maybe be able to see some improvements with me. I think at some point I might actually go to a doctor and try to get diagnosed for ADHD too. I just don't know if I want to take drugs for it. It's just I don't have good coping strategies when the ADHD gets to me, and I need to figure out how. I used to be very good at dealing with it in college because I had to deal with it so often, but recently it's been hitting pretty hard, and I just feel like the old ways that I used to deal with it don't work. One of the big ways I used to do it was time segment. I used to break everything up into little segments of, okay, I just gotta do this, and then it's like, oh, all right, I'm in this class for an hour. Well, an hour is 60 minutes, which is 10 minutes, six times, so let's get through the first 10 minutes. I, and that used to work all the time, but now I have to make the increments so small, just it doesn't work anymore. My brain is just immune to that. So I gotta find some other ways to do it, I don't know. Maybe I'll watch some YouTube self-helps, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a medical professional in any way, shape, or form. I'm an engineer and I'm a bad one at that. I think I got this one. I didn't get it. Son of a- Chica is immediately on me here. Interesting. I'm only gonna try this a few more times, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna- I, I want to get my best effort forward and maybe I'll come back to it in the future, but I do want to move on to some other projects. I want to move on to, uh, Outlast. Oh, if y'all don't watch Markiplier, I don't know if y'all heard, but he's making a movie, or he already made the movie for Iron Lung, that horror game where you're under the water. I saw the trailer for that, and oh my god, I'm, I'm all for it. I love that man. He's amazing with the works of art he does. Like, it's beautiful when he starts doing something. His projects, he puts so much passion into, and it's honestly just inspiring. And I love to see that he's making movies about indie horror games. As far as I know, that whole Iron Lung game was from one guy's like brainchild basically he thought it up made it himself and put it on steam and it was a hit because it was such a good game it's a, such an esoteric horror and i hope i'm using the right word there because if i'm not i'm sure someone will tell me in the comments but it was such a good game to watch i thoroughly enjoyed it i didn't play it but i did watch it and for there to be a movie that's exciting i can't wait to see that oh no the nightmare chica not even close to bloom boy Balloon Boy is a menace to society. I'm afraid of him. If I see him in an alley at nighttime, I'm running for my life. He, if like he will walk on the same side of the street, I'm crossing the road. I'm getting out of Balloon Boy's way. He is a murder machine. He's got the kill count in the billions. Oh, but yeah, that Iron Lung Moot trailer. If y'all haven't seen that, I do suggest seeing that. I'm definitely looking forward to that project. I hope 
I wanted to see Markiplier on the big screen one of these days, so if that's one of those that's like crowdfunded or sponsored to go into theaters, I'm seeing it. I am definitely seeing it. I might even do a review video on it. I know he's very uh, partial to content creators talking about his products, especially uh, uh, Markiplier in Space. He wanted people to watch that with their group, and I, I was for that. I watched Markiplier in Space, and I thought it was an amazing movie, or uh, series. I especially love the musics. No, Chica, please don't do me in three nights in a row. Come on, Chica. Oh my god, I love... I love the music in that Markiplier in Space. That was, uh... I really need to go back and watch it again, but he had some bangers, like the, uh, the Edge of Time, uh, the End of Space and something. I don't know. Some absolute bangers came from that, though. I can appreciate the passion in any projects. Yeah, I just can't look down the hall. Well, I didn't need to. It's just Fredward. Just the nightmare demon himself. Come on, pull me out. I dare you. Pull me out. I double dog dare you. I was expecting you to pull me out, and I didn't think it was going to happen because you didn't pull me out. I might have lost this. No, I lived. I, I fumbled my way to victory once more. Oh, Chica, please don't do this! Why are you so fast, Chica? Oh, I'm about to get jumped. Oh! Whoa, that was close. That was close, that was close. I think I got it, though. I don't think they got me there. Can't flim flam me. No, oh, Chica! I'm busy! Let me wind the music box! The marionette doesn't like being disturbed from their slumber, Chica. You gotta give me a chance. I'm ready for you, Bonnie. As soon as I drop this, I'm ready to go. We're charging this as much as possible, though. I got scared anyways. No! Foxy? I lost my Foxy? I literally flashed the hole! I flashed it so fast! Oh. Okay, I think I know what happened here. The time intervals have decreased from how long it takes everyone to move, and so Foxy's time intervals decreased by a lot as well. So, me doing a full charge on the marionette, if Foxy's in the hall, I'm not going to survive, so I cannot do a full charge. Okay, I got a conditional, I can roll with it. That was that was a good learning experience there. I think I got to 3 a.m. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. I just got to get used to that conditional of I cannot fully charge this. I need to go for like 75% and flash the hall. I just don't... I think... I don't know. I think I got jump scared there, and I didn't flash the hall after the jump scare happened. And I think that was my first mistake. Yeah, I see you there, Foxy. That was pretty good, though. Oh. But yeah, my life's been moving pretty steadily. I've been uh, getting some gains in the gym. I actually pulled a back muscle, though. I think I talked about this a bit in my last video. If not, I don't know what I'm imagining. But I pulled a muscle in my back. I have really bad form when I was doing pull downs. And, um,. Uh, lateral pull down and it actually like I could not walk for like a day or two there Like I had to lay on my stomach the entire day because my back was in so much pain It was unrealistic the amount of pain I was in because I was had bad form Apparently if you do exercising wrong and you start using the wrong muscles your body hurts and it hurty. Let me say that much But yeah, I've fully recovered now and I'm kind of world back my weight class at the gym to make sure my form is better for everything before I start moving up and I have, I've got a coworker that's absolutely shredded. He's part of the reason I decided to start going to the gym. But he was telling me form matters. He's like, it's going to matter. You need to have good form. And I was like, ah, form schmorm, you know? <laughs> and that was a bad idea. I blew him off there and I regret it. People try to help me and I'm just too ignorant. I'm one of those that has to trial by fire learn every time. I do sometimes improve myself without needing to trial by fire, but trial by fire always seems to be the most effective. Hopefully y'all didn't hear my cell phone go off. Oh god, Balloon Boy, please. No, show mercy, Balloon Boy. I'm not worthy of, to be in your presence, Balloon Boy. You don't need to show your face to me. You're a god among men, Balloon Boy. Please. No? I really thought I'd get jump scared there. Balloon Boy, you're still there. Alright, Bonnie time? Chica? It's either Chica or Bonnie that's coming up next. Neither! Because I'm a scaredy cat, you know? Okay, both. Charge it. Oh, okay. Didn't expect that. Oh. Well, I gotta put it on. Balloon Boy's there. He'll disable my light. Foxy got close. I might be in danger. I'm in danger. I was not ready for that. I thought maybe they'd attack me, but I didn't know. I thought, but I did not know. Alright, I think Chica might hit me here. Chica did not hit me. I did not expect that, honestly. I'll keep Chica flash, and then I'll probably get hit once. No? I'll take it. 
You know what? Dude, a cakewalk for me right now. No one wants to come pay me a visit? Sheesh, I'm gonna start winding the music box up some more. Hey, Chica. Hey, hey. Hey there, Chica. Hey, how's it going, Chica? You're so beautiful, Chica. Oh! Balloon murderer. At it again. Balloon boy, you're still there. I need you to leave, balloon boy. Yes, I know. Unfortunately, I can't always do this. Oh, hey there, Bonnie boy. Oh, that's a, it's a big bear. It's a big bear you got there. Unfortunately, the face is missing. You know, I'm all for like interpretive art, but no face is scary. Same for you, Chica. Winding, winding, winding. I'm hoping Balloon Boy doesn't end me. No! What was that? I stuttered because I didn't know what that was. It was off center. Oh, man. Was that Golden Fredward? Why was it off center there? I panicked. I saw something in the room and then I was like, what is that? So I took the mask off and then Freddy's like, no, not today. Dang, that was pretty good though. I'm, I'm, I'm getting close. I don't know if I'll be able to beat this. This might require a lot more effort on my part, but I feel like I am getting kind of close here. Oh. I've been going over to my friend's house and I always do this thing when I open doors. I say, home invasion. And I forget, I was, I was playing something on Twitch the other day and I kept doing that every time. And it cracked me up because I didn't realize that's just my natural thing to say when I open doors. <laughs> Anytime I go into any of my friend's house, I just say, Home Invasion! I announce myself so loud. Because, like, if you're breaking into someone's house, would you really say Home Invasion? No. Of course you wouldn't. But that's the point. I want to let them know I'm here, and I don't want to be like, Hey, I'm here! No, that's too lame. I gotta, sp I gotta spajazz it up, you know what I'm saying? So I just yell out Home Invasion. Because Fredward here would like it if I didn't do that. But you know what? Fredward here is also scared of looking at himself, which is why I got the Freddy mask. That's right. Fredward won't look in a mirror. That's why I become the mirror. Oh, Balloon Boy, you nightmarish monster. Most horrifying entity in the entire building. Not including myself, of course. I'll just flash you because I can. I'm just going to go for it for a bit because I couldn't look down the hall. Still can't look down the hall. Let me look down the hall. I want to look down the hall, please. I don't want to look down the hall. All right, Freddy's going to kick me out. I'm ready for it, though. Bonnie? Alright, I got Bonnie and Freddy back to back. Maybe a little bit of Chica in my life too, eh? Never mind, Foxy. Bonnie, I'm ready. Chica, I'm ready. Or I mean, Freddy, I'm ready. No? Alright then. They're lost, okay. Alright, Chica might be on me now. Foxy's no longer at the end of the hall. Excellent day. This is going good for me though. But yeah, with a lot of improvement in my life, um, I don't really have an end goal for it. I just want to feel like a better person. I want to do more for my life. I don't want to be the same. I want to start changing. That's a delta is what they call it. One of my friends in college had a really interesting tattoo. He was an engineer, so I did understand it. It was a triangle, but everyone thought it was a triangle. But that's also the same uh, summarization change of it's a delta it's for an engineering. It's the term. And... That's what I asked him one night. We got really drunk and I asked him, I was like, you're triangle, is that a delta? And he's like, yes. You're the first person to recognize that, not to toot my own horn. But it, it, it just, like, that was a tattoo. And I was like, oh my God, it's something so simple, but it actually speaks. Some pieces of art speak to me. And that was one of them, was a tattoo on my roommate's chest that I only noticed one time because we were both drunk. And I really think that was a really cool tattoo. And he explained to me his life was, or his motto was, he always wants to try to strive to be better for the change. Always change to be better, because you can't say you're better if you're never changing. It's like stagnation leads to, uh, losing. That's, that's what it leads to. Stagnation can lead to, uh, I'm, I'm missing the word here. Uh, you can't say you're constantly improving or constantly changing if you're not changing anything, and that leads to stagnation. And stagnation leads to less growth. And it was the whole growth was the after. So he got himself a Delta tattoo to remind himself each morning. I was like, that's really cool. I was also very drunk at the time. But I've been finding myself looking back at college more and more recently. I've also been thinking about expanding my repertoire of knowledge, trying to go for some more certificates. I've got a one certificate already. I was going to say a few, but it's like, nah, I've only got one. But uh, I want to expand my knowledge in different engineering fields. 
maybe more cybersecurity too because i've always been interested in tech i've been doing a lot with chat gtp i say a lot i use chat gtp for random stuff like i'll ask it like what's a good routine for this type of exercise and just see what it gives me because it can give you some good stuff and it also makes some stuff up entirely I've, I've seen a few videos about like you asking it some niche knowledge like let's say runescape for instance because runescape's a common topic around here you can ask it some stuff about runescape and it'll just say some stuff that's just wrong it'll tell you to do things you cannot do in that game physically and i think i just lost this let's see man Kidding. Night six is hard. All right, I'll give it one more good effort here. But the, I do think me talking, it's, I, mean, I know it's a let's play and you're supposed to talk, but I think me talking is slowing my brain. I want to blame that at least. The whole reason I'm losing is because I'm talking too much. That's obviously the reason here, not because I'm an idiot that can't multitask. No, 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 me never. But yeah, like chat GTP is kind of good for some things. And then other things you got to like kind of fact check it on because it'll make some stuff up like out of nowhere. Just say some stuff that's like, yeah, that's not real. Like, I think one time I saw a Twitter post that it, someone asked it about, like, astrophysics, and it totally made up a source. It, like, they said it was just some book, like, the sixth version of some book, and the guy looked it up, and the book didn't exist. It made up a book as a source. And when he called it out, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And it's like, what do you mean? AI is inventing sources of stuff that doesn't exist. I think that's kind of interesting, too. Because I do want to see its capabilities, especially in the engineering field. Like, if I forget how to do, say, double integrals, can I use ChatGTP to give me a crash course on that? That'd be pretty cool. Might be something I'll try eventually. I don't know. I want to see what the next they do, because AI's taking off right now, and AI can be dangerous. We don't want a Skynet to happen, you know? Where is John Connor? Robots taking over the world. It's not a future I want, but it is possible. We're at the point in civilization where we can go a few ways here. Passing the great filter is the hardest part. I just watched that SpaceX flight too on uh, 420, blaze it. Um, it's kind of interesting to see that because uh, they were talking about how anything can happen here. We honestly don't know. And immediately when it took off, it had a few, uh, no, not lights out. It had a few thrusters that were just dead basically. And a lot of stuff started exploding off it, like right off the launch pad. And I think some people did notice it. Like engineers like me probably saw that uh, something explode to the left, which shouldn't have happened there. But I mean, there's nothing they could do. It's already in launch. They've already fueled it. The, it's, it's, everything's going. The chemical ignitions happen. It's just a matter of time till it takes off, basically. Yep. But I do think that's uh, interesting what Elon Musk is doing there. I think it's noble to try to be helping our species get off this planet. Also, he wants to be the King of Mars, so, you know, he's got to get to Mars to be the King of Mars. You can't really be the King of Mars if you're not on Mars. So, it's like, it's going to happen eventually, I'm sure. I was ready for that. I don't know why. I just knew that was going to happen there. I saw about two seconds into the future, and it wasn't me losing. No, it was me hiding my ugly face. All right, I need to move my water before I knock it over. I thought Chica would be here, honestly. That fully charge a bit more. Let me wait for a second. We're just going to wait. Okay, that might be a loss. No, please, come on, not like this, Chica. Chica, I, I'm a good noodle. No! Oh, that was so bad! That's a loss. Oh, man. That stinks. I think I'm going to try to end it here. Five Nights at Freddy's 2 was a pretty good game. I liked it. Six Nights hard. I think I will try and maybe continue it, but I don't want to make 40 videos of me losing because I suck at a game. That's uh, demoralizing, demotivating, and uh, dehumanizing. It makes me feel like less human because I'm losing to robots. And obviously, this is Chat GTP incarnate. Like, let's be honest, Five Nights at Freddy's, Chat GTP, the names, you put them side by side, they're almost identical, like 100% actually. So, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like always, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you had a wonderful time. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, though. Till then, later.